Good morning, my name is Brian Noble. I'm the owner operator here at Boathouse Smokers and today we're gonna to show you how to make a turtle soup over a wood fire here on the boathouse. This is the pit we're gonna be using today. It is a 36 by 20 live fire table. It has a cook grate on each side. It has the fire box in the middle and the interior is lined with fire bricks so it ought to retain heat pretty well. Uh, let's go upstairs and uh, put the ingredients together. All right, first we have to prep all of our ingredients. Uh, step one is we're gonna cube some tasso up into about half inch strips. All right, next we're gonna dice one full cup of onion. All right, next we need two tablespoons of chopped parsley. All right, next we need two tablespoons of chopped celery. All right, next we're gonna coarsely chop two tomatoes. You wanna cut these up into about quarter inch cubes. All right, next we got two tablespoons of minced garlic. All right, next comes the seasonings. We're gonna start with two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, all right, half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. All right, next we got one teaspoon of Creole seasoning, and today uh, we're using uh, Louisiana Bayou by Port Mafia. Shout out to my boy Phil up in Chicago. All right, next we got four bay leaves. All right, next, uh, one half teaspoon of thyme. Half teaspoon of allspice. All right, one half teaspoon of ground clove. All right, next comes our turtle meat. Uh, you see all that white and that yellow? Uh, that is turtle fat. I don't know if you've ever tasted turtle fat, but it's absolutely terrible. Uh, you wanna inspect and make sure you get all of that white and that yellow out of there. Uh, here in New Orleans, when you order turtle soup at a restaurant, it typically comes uh, grinded. So it's almost like a hamburger meat consistency. Uh, I don't, I prefer uh, to cut mine in like quarter inch or half inch cubes where you can actually taste the turtle meat. When it's so small like that, you really can't get a feel for what the turtle meat actually tastes like. All right, now that we got all of our ingredients prepped, let's go outside on the boathouse and light the fire. Today, we're gonna to be using uh, pecan wood for our fuel source. And uh, once this thing comes up to temp a little bit, I'll do a little bit better job of explaining uh, actually the way these live fire tables work uh, for those that are not familiar with it. I use these little fire sticks. Uh, makes it a little easier to get the fire going. Uh, then I just add my kindling on top of that. All right, we'll let that get going and we'll come back and check back in with you in about 15 or 20 minutes or so. All right, for those of you that are not familiar with the live fire table, let me uh, show you a little bit how it works. You have your live fire in the middle and then as your embers burn, they fall down below. And you got a cook grate on each side so you can push and pull as you need the heat. Uh, I actually have some smoked sausage on the right side right now that uh, I'm gonna do for a little snack later. Um, we're getting ready to start our, our roux for our turtle soup, so uh, check back with us shortly. All right, we're 
we're getting ready to start our roux for our turtle soup. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with what a roux is, uh, roux is basically a base. We're making a stock for our soup. Uh, so it's either made with, with oil and flour or butter and flour. This particular recipe with the, uh, with the turtle soup calls for a butter-based roux. All right, we're gonna start with a half a cup of flour and a half a cup of butter. I'm gonna add my butter first. And look, you have to be very, very careful. Uh, you don't have too much heat on this. If you burn your roux, your whole thing's gonna be ruined and you're gonna have to start over. So uh, low heat, very, very, very slow. All right, and that's what you want. You see how that sizzles a little bit? Actually, that's a little bit too hot. So I wanna cool that down just a little bit. And then we're gonna add our flour. And as we add our flour, we're gonna gently stir this around. I actually have a little bit more heat than I want there. And it should form a paste. And then as your roux starts to develop, it ought to turn a, a, a golden brown. But you gotta be very patient when you're making this roux. You can't let it sit. If it sits too long, it's gonna end up burning on you. And like I said, you're gonna ruin your whole dish and you have to start over. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this settle here for about five or 10 minutes or so, and uh, we'll get back with you. All right, here we are about 10 minutes in, and we're starting to see that, that brown color that we're looking for. It's almost gonna look like chocolate when it's ready. It should take you anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes to, to make a proper roux. Uh, I'm sorry about the shadow. The sun is kind of crossing over the house and it's throwing a shadow on this grill. So uh, we're just gonna do the best we can. And uh, we'll check back in about 10, 15 minutes. 30 minutes in, you see that golden brown? It's almost a chocolate cover. That's what you're looking for. When you get to this point, we're ready to start adding our ingredients and uh, start putting together our turtle soup. All right, first, we're gonna add our onions. All right, we're going in with our tomatoes next. Show the dog in the market. All right, we're gonna push that around, mix that in. All right, here comes the celery. All right, and the garlic. All right, and next is the spice pack. For your Worcestershire, we're gonna do one tablespoon. One tablespoon of lemon juice. All right, next is your meats. First, we're gonna do the tasso. I'm gonna stir that in. And then here comes the, the uh, turtle meat. And like we told y'all to get all of that white off, the, off of there, yeah, just do the best you can. We did the best we can. We know we missed some. There's still a little bit on there. Uh, the most important is to get all that yellow fat out of there. And one and a quarter cup of water. All right, now at this point, you're gonna stir this in and you're gonna turn, really, really crank the heat up. So at this point, we're gonna wanna push a little more coals underneath the uh, underneath the grate, and uh, we're gonna bring this up to a boil. All right, at this point, we wanna bring it to a boil. So we're gonna really add some heat to it. All right, once that comes up to a boil, We'll check back in. All right, now that we've come to a rolling ball, we want to stir it around a little bit. Then we're gonna cover, reduce heat, and simmer for about two hours. All right, at this point, 
I'm going to start pushing some of my coals away to reduce the heat. This thing, you're going to want it to cook. Actually, the longer it cooks, the better. Um, you're just going to reduce the heat, cover, and let it simmer. All right, here we are one hour into our simmer. Let's take a look at it. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Patience, low and slow is the key. All right, we're gonna let this simmer for about another hour and a half or so. All right, we've been simmering for about two and a half hours. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, I think that's ready. All right, we're gonna go inside and uh, make up some rice and serve it. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. What do you think? Would you eat that? All right, guys, that's all we got for the day. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, check us out on all of our social media. You can find us on TikTok, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Catch you guys next time.